So I also thought we could have another little fun thing. Okay. So if you had to choose three points on how EA oh. could save themselves, what three points would you choose? How could we save EA or how could EA save themselves? That yeah. is a good question. Yeah. That's like one of the hardest ones, actually. In the eye of the fan. Personally, I think I would buy some studios. Buy some studios. What studios do you think would fit with EA? Okay. So what EA have done well is they've got this weird little niche with um, Joseph Farris and his team and the Unravel people. Yeah. I would expand that um, procedure procedure or that yeah, so uh, that department. Indie department yeah that's it? what is it called ea ea, EA play access? No, is it ea play maybe oh no that's the event um I think, yeah i was gonna say i think, I don't think yeah uh, <laughs> EA indies i can't know. remember it's the, their indie it's their team indie anyway team, yeah. I, I would expand that to even you know start to look at buying i don't know studios quantic dream for example i don't know mm -hmm. they're probably a bit too expensive I don't, I don't know but expand that a little bit to cater for you know, people who like single-player, heavy-focused mm. games. Um, maybe make the games a little bit bigger. Maybe. I would probably... I would probably... Okay, so point number one, I would divvy EA up into two sections. Probably a bigger section that focuses on their sports, their multiplayer titles. So sport section sort of thing yeah sport multiplayer okay th let's okay three different sections ea sports which takes care of itself yeah you just have to keep that going mm -hmm. for financial reasons you would just keep that running wouldn't change and that people at all. like the sport games i would divvy up the first person shooter stuff i would give battlefield a rest yeah. i would just kill that for 10 years mm -hmm. let let people want that back let people want it back yeah um, don't just keep feeding it and feeding it create a new ip Create a new IP and switch that with Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Don't release Battlefront with any microtransactions. Don't be EA. Don't be a dick about that. And then with the indie section, not indie section, but single player focus section, like Bioware. Mm. You know, maybe for example, maybe let Joseph Farris take Dead Space. Yeah. Let him bring that back or someone of, of that ilk. You know, I'm not they sure have Joseph got. Farris would want to do that. Myself. No, but <laughs> I mean, you know, if if they were to buy <laughs> a couple of studios. Game, who yeah. could do that. Mm. Um, so like we've just seen with Microsoft buying quite a few studios. Yeah, ex think, yeah. If I was EA, that's what I would do. I would ha I would have a clear definition of three different sections. Three different a smaller single somewhere. player lot, because that's not what they're into. The multiplayer lot, which you can revolve around maybe a new IP, Titanfall 3, Star Wars first person, and then eventually bring back Battlefield mm. once that, that thirst yeah. is there for it. And obviously... Uh, the sports, which is just going to keep going. But, you know, keep an eye on Mike, the, uh, what do you call it? Gambling regulation thing. Yeah. Be very wary of that. I think that's what I would do if, if I was EA. I would be on the lookout for new talent, new studios. Who's I up think they need some in? fresh blood in there. Honestly, it just seems like the most corporate environment in video games there in Activision. Mm. You know, like if you look at Naughty Dog, for example... PlayStation just let them do what they want. Mm -hmm. So PlayStation let everyone do what they want. Yeah. Almost. So I would split it up into those three. I would take the reins off. Mm. Um, let them have the creative freedom, creative control. And um, so that's my two points. My third would be. So your first point, so it's broken up into three parts. Well, my first my first point is structure the company into three specific things. Yeah. Okay. I guess my second point is by new and exciting studios and then my third point would be um take, take off the reins take the reins off a bit mm -hmm. let the, let the creative freedom flow through creative most of juices. the studios yeah 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 um so that would be my three point push for ea and changing mm -hmm. their direction yeah i i don't have any arguments with that good i think that would be quite successful for them and also for fans i think fans would see more of a positive image of EA. We have just that. we've just saved EA. Ah, You're welcome. Though. You're welcome. <laughs> Next week, tune in as to uh, when we say that Nintendo should release games for PlayStation. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> what? We're not going to do that. No. 